Hi crafters, Muriel here with a quick project. So I created a wrapping for a candy bar for um, two young guys that um, extended family that we're going to go uh, to their home on Monday. And um, I thought I would do one and then show you the other in case you also need a last minute gift. Um, these I found yesterday at the grocery store and they were really cheap. They were like two for some crazy if they were $1.50 really. They were really inexpensive. They're the extra large Hershey bars. They're with almonds and then they say here made with fresh farm milk. So I don't know what the other ones have been made of but these are made with fresh farm fresh milk. So here's one that I've already done and again it's I it's for uh, masculine it's for a young guy so um, I didn't want to put too much um, foo foo on it so I am using some papers from Echo Park um, Twas the Night Before Christmas collection I picked this over up at Ben Franklin which is a craft store here in um, where I live at and um, they had them clearance style for 99 cents a sheet so I went ahead and bought several sheets of them so I um, this is you know basically the gist of it the candy bar is all wrapped up with a border and um, I thought we would go ahead and make one now before we get started there was someone who emailed me and asked me to do a tutorial on those bubble gift tags and I emailed her back these are the ones that I gave to Louisa in her uh, swap and I'll swap and I wrote her back and told her that I did not make those these are from celebrate a uh, collection at Michael's they're called gift tag kit and right now I believe they're 60% off so I'll show you they they're like a pillow if, if that's a good description you know they're pretty puffy they have uh, shaker stuff inside sequence they have some cut out Santa and then the inside card says something like Santa stopped here and then there's a little hole here or here where you would put the twine of the thread that they provided uh, in the kit on it so I don't know how you create these um, you know if someone wants to try to create these they can let us know but it's not anything I made again I found them at Michael's and they come seven in a pack and there's different sizes and they say different things so let's get started with this here I just pulled out some um, embellishments that I thought I would use this piece of paper I cut down to eight and a half by eight and a half okay make it really simple I've already put the tape on each side so we'll go ahead and peel that off and get this bar wrapped up I saw this tutorial I get an email from um, graphic 45 and one of the designers I think her name is Magda I think she um, created this package idea it's like a 60 second tutorial so the tutorial went really fast but I kind of got the gist of it so um what I'm going to do is be folding this over one side and then fold the other one to the other side. But before I do that, I want to put this bow, excuse me, I want to put this bow inside so it uh, comes out on the top. And this is just some sheer gold ribbon from my stash. And I just cut it like the length of my table and then a few more inches. So I don't have a definite measurement on it but I'm just going to lay it down here in the middle and get it so that it's even on the uh, top side here there we go so now I'm going to get my ATG gun because I want it to stay and not move as much so I'm going to just um, put some tape in the front and you want to be careful that you don't um, that you don't break your candy bar like the one in here is split down the middle <laughs> or cracked in half one of the two so but I don't think people mind that so I'm just going to turn this over oh goodness let go okay and then put some tape on the back side again this is just to keep the ribbon still just like so so there we have it okay 
Now we're going to lay this down on our paper. And I'm going to cross one side over and um, put this up like this. One side over like so. Just kind of move this over. Okay. And then what I like to do is just take the entire, after I take this tape off, just kind of, kind of get it bent to where I want it to go. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. And of course I'm using the double-sided tape. I picked this up at Daiso. I have the red tape. You can use that too, but um, I always keep this out. Okay. Now I'm going to move this like so, and I'm going to turn this like this so that I get a straight, um, good um, tucking. And I'm going to make sure that it lines up at the bottom. There we go. And I'm just going to press it. Okay, so now that bar is in there. And what I'm gonna do to the bottom, if I push this up just a bit. Is I'm going to staple it. I happen to have some red staples in my stapler. And I'm just going to get it where I can just grab it just a little. And I'm gonna make the staple flat side on the front side so it'll look okay. So I'm just going to eyeball that. I'm going to pull it toward me so that I can make sure I get it. Press hard and there you go. This is just to secure it in the um, bottom. And then what I have here is just a belly band and this is just from the same collection. It was the border strips. So I'm just going to wrap this around here. No rhyme, no reason. I don't have a size um, not a size, but I don't have a, I guess this is eight and a half, excuse me. This is eight and a quarter. So I do have a size, but I'm looking for my tape so that I can put some on the sides. Hmm. Where'd that go that fast? Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll just use our ATG gun, which I, oh, here it is. Excuse me. I just love using this because I just feel that it will stay. Um, so I think I'm going to use the green side. So I'm going to put some over here like so. And I'm just going to get my scissors and cut a piece off. Okay, so again, like I said, I'm going to use the green side. So we're just going to fold that like so. Whoops, get over here. Okay, I'm not trying to line it up with the, with the seam. That's nor here nor there for me. And then I'm going to kind of make sure it, you know, give it some bend so it know where to go. And then on that side here, I'm going to put some more of this tape. Just a small piece. I've seen lots of uh, videos on people altering. I think I saw one that Bona did. I think I saw one that Arlene did. I've seen so. So it's really simple. Okay, so now we're going to just make sure that is evened. And there you go. So there's your band. Mine seems to be a little high, but that's okay. That's going to be the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is add some embellishments. And I just had this deer head. I'm just trying to keep it masculine. Um, these antlers and stuff. And then this is a cut apart from the collection. It says Merry Christmas. And then I had these two cute little wooden reindeers. Um, that I picked up at Michael's last year. I have uh, black and I have uh, brown and just this taupe color. And I think I am going to use the taupe just so that they'll be seen with this um, black and white paper. So first things first, let's go ahead and put some tape on this antler head. Again, I'm not using any um, liquid tape. 
because I trust the double sided. And you know, the young people that I give these to, they're going to rip this open so fast that all this work that I'm doing and all this that I'm showing to you will not even matter. So I'm going to put the antlers like that. Okay. And then the same thing with this. Let's put some tape on it, which I should have done earlier. Forgive me. I think I'm going to put two um, layers here. Just so that it's not um, easy to come off once they rip it open. I should get my um, my more uh, sharper. So I, I'm going to come back later and I uh, show you some Mary Mail that I got. I got two packages today. She knocked on the door, the postmaster, and she had two boxes and I was just like, I just took them from me and I go, you don't need to look at these, they're not for you. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what's inside. So now I have some glue dot and I'm just going to put three glue dots on these um, reindeer. I'm going to try to, so that they can't be seen, so I'm going to put some around the antlers and then I'm going to put some in the middle of the body. And what I like to do is press down and then twist because that pulls it off of the uh, plastic. And then I'm going to put some on the rear butt and twist it off. And then I'm just going to stick this one, let's see here. Oh, and I did the brown one. You know what? That's fine. So let's put, let's put this one down here just like so and then we'll use this one same thing one by the back side twist and pull off one in the chest area twist and pull off and then one by his antlers and his head okay and then that one we will put oh goodness let's see let's just put that one Hmm, I don't want, no, I'll just do it like this. There we go. Just going to put that down the bottom like that. And now I'm going to tie this bow. And this is just some sheer ribbon from last year's, probably last year's Christmas package. And um, again, I, I don't have a measurement. If I had to guess what it would be, it's probably the width of this table and like I said, and a little bit more. So, let's see here. Let's just get this. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer so I can see. And I even may have to stand up because it's hard to do a bow sitting down. Let's get you over here. As long as I get the bows correct, then it doesn't matter how long the um, tails are, because this one is just super long. So now what I'm going to do, because I cheat, is I'm going to pull that like this, and this one like this. Let's kind of get this like this, so. Okay, I hope I'm still in frame. I hope I am. But I have a glue dot and it is right here and actually okay what I did not do is staple the top so let's do that before we tie this let's staple the top I think that's where I'm getting where it's not so easy the other one was pretty simple so let's just undo this let's see what we got here okay so now I'm just going to staple that like this. Make sure your staple is facing the front so that you get the best side. Let's get this under here. There you go. And I just got this cute red staple. Now let's see if this is a little easier for me to tie this bow. Okay, it is so cold, you guys. I don't know where you guys are at, but it was uh, 29 degrees this morning 
here in the Pacific Northwest. So we are heading for our two hour towards our winter weather. <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to it. I tell you, not at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is what I did with um, this one here. Let me just even these bows out. Okay, this one just wants to be so long. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue dot, which is right here. Okay, and I'm going to put it kind of sort of over the staple. And these are the uh, permanent dots from the Dollar Tree. You know, they have them just hanging on this rack thing. And then I'm just going to press that down like so. So now I have these tails and I'm going to clip this one. Okay, let's see here, because I don't want to mess it up. Okay, we got that one and then we'll get this one. Again, I'm giving these to guys. They really don't care. So I think this is probably as good as I'm going to get. Seems like I've got something in my eye all of a sudden. But there you have it. I have these two cute packaged chocolate bars that are pretty masculine. They have the um, reindeer theme paper here. And then I kind of kept it going over here. And um, some, you know, sheer ribbon. And of course this glitter. Um, antlers which is certainly cute so again thank you for watching if there's any um questions you have feel free to leave your comments down below i hope you tried this again it's really easy you saw i mean i struggle just because i just struggle with tutorials but certainly if you have some beautiful paper some kind of uh, sentiment and a belly band is always the best whether it's an inch or half an inch size and then some kind of embellishment whether it's flowers or stars or whatever whatever theme you want to use I just chose to keep mine because I'm giving them to two young kids so um, I, I hope you do try it and um, until my next video which will be coming up here shortly of my happy mail my merry mail I can't wait so thank you again for watching everyone bye now